this is nice. I mean, it's just, it's just like green countryside. There's nothing really that remarkable at the moment, but it's just nice. It's like it's got, a, it's reached a really nice temperature now. Still quite cool, but not cold like it was earlier. I've warmed up. My hands and hands and toes aren't cold now. It's really nice. It's quiet. Really anything besides the sound of nature. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. I've just got a bit of a mission to follow. Uh, and then, like, the next few miles, I'll be getting close to that ridge, I think. Uh, but yeah, there was a bit of a... There was a, a few climbs coming out of Church Stratton, quite steep. But it uh, didn't last that long. They were okay, broken up a bit. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, still quite early, it's only about 8.30 in the morning, I think. Because it's like country lanes, there's not many people about. So yeah, it's a nice start. Nice start to the walk. Oh, it's just a blackbird. Is it? Mm, not entirely sure. I oh, know, I don't think it is a blackbird. Anyway, uh, press on. I'll catch you in a bit. Morning. Quite an interesting little uh, woodland section, this. Quite dense, and uh, the path the path I was following was like a sort of rutted track and it led past a couple of cottages. Um, and it went right next to one cottage. There's like another one over there, I don't know if that's actually got anyone in it, but... Yeah, it's cool seeing these little cottages sort of in the trees, right next to the path. That's the ridge line I'm heading towards. Uh, I think it runs from Craven Arms in that direction, or near Craven Arms, all the way to Much Wenlock over there somewhere. It's like one long uh, wooded ridge line, I think. And I think the Jack Mitten Way will go up onto there and then left, and all the way to Much Wenlock. So I'm hoping once we get up there, it'll be pretty much pretty much a straight path, maybe a bit of a up and down. This is a good this is a good road, it's pretty much straight from the last place, Tickleton. It's a nice little uh, nice little village. It's pretty much a straight road to the ridge line. Uh, yeah hopefully I can get up uh, get up some speed up there and get the miles done. It's uh it's about 9.15 now. I've done about 4.3 miles, so not going particularly fast. Probably all the uphill at the start. But uh, yeah, hopefully I can uh, pick up the pace a bit in a short while.
So I'm up on the ridge line now. Uh, <clears throat> definitely doing the Jack Mitten way, although I don't think, I think earlier on when I started from Church Tretton, I'm not sure I was technically on the Jack Mitten way, but I am. I am now. Um, there's a bit of a steep climb up to the ridge. Uh, but I think now I'm up here, I think it's, uh, I think we pretty much stay on the top all the way to much Wenlock. Well, there's probably a bit of up and down somewhere, but <coughs> it's very nice up here, it's very quiet. Uh, it's getting a bit brighter, but I'm quite glad that it's still quite cool, because there's a really nice temperature to hike in there. I'm not sure what the temperature is, but it's about... Yeah, 12, 13 degrees C, maybe. Yeah, it's nice. Cows again. <coughs> Never thrilled by walking through a field of cows. You don't really know what they're going to do. <coughs> I'd say it nine times out of ten. They don't do anything, they might come towards you. And whatever, I think it depends on the time of day as well whether they're expecting to be fed or not. Uh, but I have had a few incidents. Well, they've come charging at me because they think I've got food or something. <clears throat> so, generally they're fine, but yeah, never really know sometimes. That in the distance, I think, is the Reekin. Uh, I haven't been to the Reekin yet. It's quite busy. Or it gets quite busy. Um, I might go there on a week, though. <clears throat> uh, so I've got to go up here or there. I think that way is the Jack Mitten way, and that's the Shropshire way. So just pick one, I guess. They're both going in the same direction. I've seen some videos of the uh, the Appalachian Trail, and while it's very different to this, <coughs> I think this is kind of um, this is kind of similar. When I come off trail, get to like a rocky bit like this with an outlook, where you can sort of stop and um, take a break and just take in the view. But I think that's still along Mindo. Though. Actually, no, it can't be Canix. We've gone past the Reek. You know? Hmm, not sure. But anyway, lovely view. Um, I've come up from the Jack Mitten Way onto the Shropshire Way, because they've joined together again. And um, uh, I think I've got about two miles to Much Wenlock. Um, so I think I should get there by three o'clock. No, actually I should get there by two o'clock. Or two thirty, so I'm going to stop here and have some lunch. Uh, yeah, it's been going really well. Really enjoyed the uh, walk along uh, Wenlock Edge, I think the ridge is called. Uh, yeah, and it's turned out to be a great day. So uh, this changed. It's quite nice. <sighs> this is really nice hiking. I mean, it's a really good path, really good flat path. You've got like a drop on that side, 
Don't really see much right now. Uh, trees on this side. So not, it's not far after that lookout where I stopped to um, to have lunch. Uh, just a bit further along Wenlock Edge. A couple of miles away from much Wenlock. Um, but yeah, it's really nice hiking now. I really like this sort of trail. Got the sunlight, sun coming through the, uh, the trees. It's just, I mean, the temperature now is it's definitely warmer than earlier, but it's still a really nice light breeze. You sort of feel the sun, but it's not definitely not warm, not too warm. <coughs> it's perfect, perfect conditions. Really, really nice. So I've just caught sight of uh, much Wenlock. I don't know if it's disappearing now, but it's just over the trees. Got about a mile to go, I think. About 20 minutes, 25 minutes, should be in much Wenlock. I'm gonna have a mooch around. I might go to the, uh, uh, I might go to the, the accommodation first, uh, the Raven, and uh, just dump my bag. See if I can dump my bag in my room. Now I might have a mooch around. See, um, uh, gonna look at the uh, the Priory. I think it is or the Abbey. Um, there's a few other places. There's a sort of famous second-hand bookshop. I want to have a quick look at, and then um, pick up some. Uh, some supplies for tomorrow for the way back because I'm doing, as I said, the same route backwards tomorrow and then potentially once I get the train back to Ludlow, walk from Ludlow about 10 or 11 miles back to uh, to Tenbury. Uh, but yeah, today's gone really well. I really enjoyed uh, that last stretch. There's been some nice flat stretches uh, along Winlock Edge. Really good for walking, for getting some uh, fast miles done. Um, and yeah, I'm actually looking forward to doing it the other way around tomorrow, so, all good. So this is the next day, uh, I'm heading back now. I'm not gonna do too much filming along this stretch because it's most of it's the same as yesterday, but I just wanted to show the, uh, the water down there, which I think is still part of the quarry. Uh, and this bit I'm heading along now is the Shropshire Way. I didn't do this bit yesterday. I did the Jack Mitten Way, which is sort of down there somewhere because the trail split. So I'm going back this way. Uh, a bit of variety, but it's quite nice. Heading backwards on this trail is quite nice because everything, everything looks slightly different. You sort of notice things that you didn't see coming the other way. And if I pointed it out yesterday, but that's brown clear over there. Uh, where I was at last week. Uh, yeah, so basically it's same as yesterday, all the way back along 
Wenlock Edge uh, to, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of it, East Hope, I think, little, little village. Uh, and then walking about five and a half miles from there back to Church Stratton. And then I'm either going to get, well, I've got to get the train back to Ludlow and I'm either going to get a lift back or I'm going to walk from Ludlow back to Tembury Wells. But that would then be a total of about 26, 27 miles for the day. I'm not sure if, I, if I'm going to be able to do that today. So yesterday was 16 miles. Um, if I stop at Church Stratton, it's going to be another 16. That'll be 32 for both days. The Shropshire Six Summits is actually 36 miles, I think. So, that's next Saturday, so... I might be alright, I mean, I didn't do this much training last year and I got 30 miles into it. I also <sighs> twisted my ankle. It was uh, hotter than it's going to be, I think, next Saturday. So I reckon I can do it, even if I just call it... Even if I just end at 16 miles today but we'll see if I'm feeling good when I get to Church Stretton I might do that other 10 or 11 miles back to Tembury from Ludlow you'll see yesterday went quite well uh, I um, stayed overnight in much Wenlock ah, cobwebs at uh, the Raven um, really nice really nice room good night's sleep um, and then set off this morning about 8.15 after breakfast. Cranking the miles out. Hopefully I'll be back at Church Stretton by 3 o'clock. So I think there's a 3.15 train back to Ludlow. What is it? No, it's about 5 past 3. It's another cool start to the day. Not quite as cool as yesterday morning, but... Uh, still nice and cool, really nice condition for hiking. And uh, yeah, <sighs> time to get stuck in again. So I completely forgot to film uh, getting to Ludlow. Uh, basically, I got to um, got to Church Stretton at about five past two, ten past two, um, and I knew there'd be a train at about five past three. So I went to the co-op, got some more uh, liquid, uh, and went to actually want to get. I went to get a coffee from uh, the garage. Had a little Costa in there. Then I went to the train station and uh, the ticket machine was off for some reason. Came back on, but anyway. I used my phone to book the ticket and I saw that there was a train at 2.34 from Ludlow, uh, from Church Stratton to Ludlow. So that was over half an hour sooner than I expected, so 
which worked out quite well, so I had half an hour. Uh, in fact, in total, I had about an hour sort of rest. So I had something to eat, had plenty to drink. Uh, the train came and it took, it takes about 20 25 minutes from uh, uh, and then yeah, I got to Ludlow and basically started again. Uh, so I'm measuring this on the watch. We've done just over a mile from Ludlow train station. And I'm now, weirdly, as you saw back there, I'm back on the Shropshire Way again. So it's a bit confusing yesterday and today which bits I walked to a Shropshire Way and which bits were Jack Mitten Way. Um, I, I think basically they uh, they kind of both go through Church Stretton and on towards Wenlock Edge, but they sort of keep splitting apart. And then when you're on Wenlock Edge, there's a couple of points where you can do the Jack Mitten Way or the Shropshire Way. So I've been on both basically uh, today and yesterday. So uh, there's some nice houses and gardens around here. Yeah, so basically I did the 16 miles back to Church Stratton today from Much Wenlock. That was really nice. Uh, again, you can, you can get some really good, get a really good pace going. A couple of miles I did were like less than 17 minutes. So, and I didn't feel like I was going that fast for a lot of the way, but... Uh, Managed to do really well for time, so I got to church straight at an hour, about an hour earlier than I needed to, 45 minutes. Um, so I did my 16 miles, 16.2 to be exact, back to church Stratton. Had a bit of a rest for an hour. Got to Ludlow about, uh, what time was it? About 2.54 or something. And I'm walking from Ludlow back to Tembury Wells which will probably be a total of about 11 miles. So all in all, hopefully by the end of the day I'll have done 27, which is a lot. For me it's a lot. I do many hikes. I don't do many hikes of that length. Uh, there's quite a lot to do in training, but then the Shropshire Six Summits is going to be 36 miles, so... And I haven't had a lot of time to train for it, so I had to kind of get a good long day in. And I've got a week now, so hopefully the legs will have recovered. It won't be as much of a shock uh, next Saturday when I do the six summits. It'll still be very, very hard work. Um, but hopefully it won't be too uh, too bad. So if I don't see you again before the end of this video, there's a car coming. Uh, that's basically what I'm up to, what I've done, and hopefully I'll get to Tembury in one piece. That's Clear Hill again, this time from the other side. I've seen it from a couple of different angles today. Alright, that noise is the motorway. Our dual carriageway. 